guys hey you're not ready for the things in that book i have one source of income which is my mother hi pleasant people welcome back to my channel if you're new here thank you so much for tapping on this video i'm benedicta so and i'm coco and i make faith-based content health content lifestyle content and more if you're not new here and you're a tiny subscriber thank you for coming back to each and every upload much love i know i know i know i have not been around for a very very long time and I am sorry. <laughs> so today's video, as you can see from the title, or is going to be titled Take Stock and Plan. This is day one or five days of Christmas bliss. And hoping I could do better than last year. Looking at last year's videos, we've grown a lot and content is here. I have seen how I did it last year and I'm hoping to improve it this year. So this year I have decided to do the content a day before the upload. I hope that this process is going to help it be easier for me to get videos for you guys because shooting the same day as uploading it is really, really difficult. Like nobody told me. I experienced it myself and I was like, no, I'm not going to do that again. So yeah. So before we delve into this video, my make leave backdrop <laughs> is from the door. Uh, they just ended worship that day. If he didn't come, I'm sorry. I'm not blaming myself this time. If he didn't come, it's only you. Yeah. That was the theme for worship that day. And if you're a friend of somebody who knows how to do designs, <laughs> this is the product. <laughs> so, so, this will be our backdrop for now before we get an actual, actual, so and I'm cocoa backdrop. As I said earlier, the title of today's video is Take Stock and Plan and this video was inspired by a sermon that I sat under last last month or this month. I forgot it but it was recent and I really really got inspired from the sermon. I even made a reel about it and I decided to make a video about it. So all rights reserved, these ideas are not mine. I am just sharing from what I heard on Sunday. These ideas are from Pastor Derek Nano and I am here to take stock of my 2023 and help you guys to also take stock of your taste. So without much ado, let's get into today's video. The first verse is from Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 says, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Amen. So 2023 has been a roller coaster and I feel like every year is like that. But my 2023 was not. <laughs> but I would say that in all things, give thanks. It's very, very hard to give thanks when like bad things are happening to you or things that you do not expect are coming your way. But that doesn't mean we should not give thanks because think of the worst that could happen and just give thanks to God for that. I am going to take stock of my 2023 and plan for my 2024 with you guys. <laughs> so yes, let's begin by taking stock of this. How has 2023 been for you? What happened in 2023 that you will never ever ever forget? And what happened in 2023 that you want to change coming 2024? So let's get into it. Yo, you're going to take stock so in this video, I'm going to take stock of time, stock of money, stock of eating habits, and devotional. So the first thing to do when taking stock is to thank God. In as much as a lot of bad things have happened to you today, you have to thank God. The mere fact that you are standing and you are watching this video at the end of 2023 means that God has been good. So yes, say a big thank you to God right now before you proceed to watch the rest of the video. Having a journal of prayer and a journal of testimony. So my first tip for 2024 is to have a prayer journal and a testimony journal. Now I do have a prayer journal, but it is mixed with service notes and all of that. Talking of journals, I'm here to introduce to you my journals. This is just about a few, but two, two of them are not here. So first of all is this book that I bought, and this was my everyday journal. I wake up and I write in it. I all my thoughts in it. There are a lot of things 
that I felt in this book, happiness, sadness, even with our addiction, guys. I'm that kind of person. <laughs> if you find this way, far, please let me know. Okay. I got to see home, but I've not seen any anywhere again. Like this was this was after I got Loki addicted to this Fear is not my feature song by um I got to shop clubs was in that song. And this song was like a vibe, so I wrote the lyrics in here. I wrote Better with God. I was on this journey where I want to get better with God and I wrote down some things that I wanted to do. Bro, a lot is in this book and I have used barely half of it. And this is how much of the book I have used. So I'm going to continue using this book as my everyday journal for 2024. Next is this book. This book was given to me by my mom. So yeah, I didn't know what to use this book for, but I later on decided to use it for my social media stuff. So anything, any ideas, social media ideas that I have, any journey that I want to go on for social media, everything, I write it down here. Sometimes I get ideas and I just implement it at once and there are times that I also just write it down for later. There are a lot of ideas that have not yet come out in this book but they will come out very very soon. So at the beginning part I wrote pray before you post and go to God about this first. These are two mantra I live by when it comes to my social media and I feel like it really really helps me to align with God's will concerning my social media because if not God I will not be here so all praise has to go back to him so yes yeah so June plan didn't really implement a lot but I'm so glad that I did the STD video in June if you've not watched it go and watch it go and watch it and watch <laughs> Saturday shorts has now come into place. Thank God for that. Yes. So I haven't really written a lot of things. I haven't really done a lot of things in this too. So yet to be done. This book. If you've seen this book anywhere, you know that I'm around. <laughs> I carry this book everywhere. This is the book that I write my sermon in time. Like I sit. When I sit in a sermon, this is what I write in. I also have some prayers in here. I also have some um, video ideas in here because I was using this before I got this. So I didn't just transfer everything because it's still mine. I have this book, this journal that I had since 2020, my mom gave to me, and I wrote a lot of ideas. Hey, that book, if I lose that book, I'm doomed. <laughs> I have so many ideas in them, uh, so many feelings I poured out in that book since 2020, the whole Wasi period. Guys, hey, you're not ready for the things in that book. This is my third journal, and then this book is empty. Yes, I got it at uh, an art gallery last month, and I decided that I'm going to write my life plans in this book. Long term, short term, whatever plans it is that I have, they are going in this book. The pages are, you know, plain, so you can just design it however you want. And I love that because in case I want to draw out whatever I want to do or whatever it is that I want to do, I feel free to do it. If I want to write like a journal, if I want to write like a journal, I'll just rule the lines in it and I'll do it. So yeah, I'm excited for the things that are going to be this book because I don't know, I have so many ideas, like, like <laughs> a lot of things. Are in my mind and I'm going to write them down here and pray to God about it and wait to see it all come to life because I am declaring on this book anything I write in this book is going to come to life in Jesus name can I get an amen okay so to get off into it the first thing is to review your life what's happened in 2020 I like to quote something that first he said he said constantly doing the same thing and expecting different results is madness i repeat constantly doing the same thing and expecting different results is what madness so in 2024 if the approach isn't good or if it doesn't lead you to the results change the approach not the goal thank you so, I'm delving into the areas that you should consider when taking stock 
first of all is spiritual life now for my spiritual life i'll say that this year i have grown much much better i prayed more this year i don't know whether it's because people around me were getting sick and all of that but i prayed i prayed a lot i really really made use of one hour a day and i didn't do it every day this year though but i did it a lot of things why is this thing 40 percent what am i using for tithing tithing guys tithing i tithe every single month this year glory be to god glory be to god again <laughs> if you don't tithe guys i'm sorry for you that's my fancy because this year i've come to realize that when you hold God by His word, He has no other option than to give you what it is that you deserve or what it is that you should get from what you have done. Okay, and tithing is one big aspect of it. And when you know the word of God concerning tithing and you hold God by it, you know, I've been tithing for a long time. I grew up in the church. I mean, I grew up in the church going home. Like Sunday morning, you're waking up and you are going to church. You have no option. I started paying tithe since as little as I could, I could be. Um, when I was in primary school, yeah, about, I used to pay tithe. You know, when they give me 20 CDs a week or like, Five CDs. I take the tithe out. I take the fifty percent out and put it in my tithe card and give it to God. And I'm really thankful for Parish Chapel International and I'm thankful for the Archbishop Charles of Nassari because they teach these things while you're a child. So when you're going, it becomes a habit. Okay. So I've been tithing since I was little, but not until last year did I realize that actually holding God on His word concerning your tithe is important. And so I'm, I'm really thankful that I grew in my knowledge concerning tithing and not just tithing. I talked about prayer life. Um, how long I have been praying, considering it this year was okay. It wasn't really the best and I could do better. So next year, we're taking the next approach, approaching almost two hours. <laughs> it's easier said than done though, but I'm praying to God for the strength and the grace to be able to do that. It's hard, it's hard. And also waking up in the morning to pray. I always pray at night because I'm not really at early bed. But I'll, I'll try my best to pray for longer hours and to be able to wake up to pray. So help me God. <laughs> word life. The Bible verse concerning word life is 2 Timothy 3 15. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. Amen. So my word life has not been good. Why? I have listened to sermons this year, podcasts, all of that, but sitting down to read the Bible for myself, I haven't done the best. I haven't been the best this year. I will give myself a 4 over 10 because this year I, I haven't read, read my Bible that much. Um, Doing devotion early in the morning, that one is like key. But Bible study, sitting down to study the word of God for yourself. That I haven't done a lot of times and I'm praying and hoping that I'll do better in that aspect. So that is all for your spiritual life. In case you have any tips, tricks, how you do it. If you haven't also been good in your life, then join me as we go into taking things for to be better Christian. So the second aspect is your mental development and capacity building. <laughs> and that part, the first thing under it is reading. Reading at least a book every month. <laughs> and so my reading habits have been very, very good. I started this year with the whole reading one, one book for a month concept and I'm outing myself too much yes but reading hasn't been good I have read some books this year but some of them I haven't completed some of them uh, most of them I haven't completed actually learning new skill um, let me see I have tried editing with other editing apps editing pictures all these things that I'm saying they have come to a standstill because it got to a point in my year 
I wasn't ready for anything. I wasn't ready for anybody. I just wanted to be myself. I just wanted to do one thing that I love for myself. So all these things I started but came to a standstill. So yeah, I'm looking at 2024. I will get at least one skill that I want to learn and go by it till the end of the year. So come with me. <laughs> the third part of taking stock and planning is body and health, eating habits and personal hygiene. So my eating habits have been a, a lot better this year. Why? Because I have come to learn a lot about myself and sickle cell disease and how it associates with your eating habits. Here I ate a lot better fruits, vegetables. All in all, I think I was the best at that. And personal hygiene, personal hygiene is always correct. Like I'm, I'm a bit more like I'm a bit beyond. <laughs> so yes, I my personal hygiene has just been it. For this year i i did a lot of skincare this year and i came to realize skincare that what am i humbling <laughs> i came to realize skincare that works for me now the last but not the least part of this video is the finances income expenditures and given now this year my finances haven't been too good but i haven't been too bad either so i realized that my income i don't feel like this thing is not my income was less than my expenditure. I have one source of income, which is my mother. My mother, my mother, my mother, my mother. She gives me a stable amount of money every month. So every month I know that this amount of money is going to come into my coffers. So this year I realized that it got to a point in the year I was in debt. Not like serious, serious debt like a point of something, but debt to myself. In that, let me explain the concept, in that I was spending money that was not yet there. So as I said earlier, I have a stable income which is for my mom. So I know that this month she's going to give me this amount of money. And I realized that since I have made up in my mind that this is the amount of money I'm going to get, I start to spend the money even before the month comes. So say I place an order online and I know that it's going to come in the second week of the month. And I don't have the money yet, but it's the last week of the previous month. And I know that in the first week of the next month, I'm going to get my allowance. So I place that order. A week before knowing the money that is going to come next week so that made me you know end up not having enough money for the month and not spending and hence overspending so yes this month this year's money issues hasn't really been the best all in all i did not in debt with anybody i did not take anything that did not belong to me i did not owe anybody any money so thanks be to god also, I like to say this, I don't know if it's a testimony or whatever it is, but there was this point where I was, you know, I wanted to sow the seed and the money that I wanted to sow, I didn't have it. Like, it was not money that my pockets can produce. And if I was going to wait for my monthly allowance, I'm going to wait for like two months at least to get that amount of money that I need to sow into the man of God's life. And I was pushed, you know, the Holy Spirit just stays on my heart that look, baby girl, so this amount of money, your life will never be the same. <laughs> and I, I I decided to pray about it because I didn't have the money. And where was I gonna get that money from? I prayed about it and my cousin outside the country, like in due season, like in, in the short notice after I prayed, the money was sent. And she was like, Hey, I sent you some points, you know. For, you know, I'll keep you know that kind of vibe. It's not my birthday, nothing is coming up. I didn't ask her for the money, she just sent me the money, and that money took care of the seed that I wanted to sow. And I was so, I was like, God, my God, <laughs> and I was like, God, my God shall supply all my needs. This year, I sowed a lot of seeds, and I am praying and praying and praying that the harvest will be plenty. So that is all about my money issue. You can feel free to share yours with me in the comment section if you don't mind everybody hearing what to use your money for. And last but not the least is relationships. Um, this year hasn't been bad when it comes to friends. This year I intentionally stopped being friends with some people. I intentionally stopped opening up or telling some people some specific things in my life. And I, I love the fact that I was so intentional about it and it really really helped me. Some of them I realized, see, this friendship was toxic. Like it was toxic. And it's not that I cut everybody off or I cut people off. No, I still talk to them, but it's not a 
has no basis. It's on a normal high hello but it's not too as let's say intimate as it was. So yeah. Uh, that's it about relationships and I hope this 2023 stock taking and planning of 2024. <laughs> what do I say? Anyway, I just hope it has been a blessing to you guys. It has been a blessing to me. I've been looking forward to doing this video for a long time. But a lot has been happening and I just thank God that I was able to do it and I think I'm able to continue with five days of Christmas bliss. Uh, this year has been quite sad. If you do not know, this is, I'm officially saying this to my YouTube family. I lost two very important people in my life. My auntie, which is my mom's immediate big sister, and then my grandpa, my mom's dad. And it was very sad. I mean, it is still very sad. It's a fresh wound. And can you guys see? <laughs> Tinti Tinti has been a ride, a roller coaster. Uh, um, oh, yeah, I won my first plaque in Tinti Tinti Influencer of the Year Award. So that is a plus. And mm, that's all for this video. I, I, I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. I did learn a lot. Life happens. So if you also decide to happen, then well. But if you also decide to be intentional about something, Things will work out for you and please be intentional about God. That's all for this video. I don't know if you guys can tell but I'm very excited I did this video. So that's all for taking stuff and planning. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to subscribe, please subscribe and join the present family. Next year we are monetizing. Next year we are monetizing. I repeat, next year we are monetizing. So please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in another video. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year in advance.